Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So in this video I'd like to share with you how I attempted to restore this old Stanley 702 corner vise. So I recently picked up this lightweight Stanley 702 vise from eBay and I paid about £6 or £7 for it. Really cheap and they're great little portable vices that you can attach to a table. So this one's in pretty poor condition. So now I'm gonna attempt giving it a restoration and adding some jaws at the end. So I started off by removing the bolts and just dismantling the voice. And you can see there's some old jaws in the voice. I think they're made of plywood and I just needed to remove those also. So you can see really poor jaws and rusty bolts and nuts and washers. So now that I have the pieces um, disassembled, I need to remove the rust. So to remove the rust, I'm going to use some white vinegar, distilled vinegar, I'm just putting them now in a plastic container and I'm going to add the vinegar and let them soak for a while and that will help to remove the rust from the metal. The main body of the voice is made of aluminium so that part doesn't have rust. So after a couple of days you can see a lot of the rust has sort of melted away from the metal. Now I just needed to give it all a wash in some soapy water to remove any excess vinegar. So the pieces were already looking better, but I really wanted to remove as much of the rust as possible. So here I'm just adding some um, metal polish. and I'm just working it all in and then I set up a wire wheel in my drill press just to buff off all of the old rust and I'm using a few different attachments to get into the tight spots So then I just gave it all a final brushing with some small wire brushes.
so that was pretty much all of the rust removed. So another problem, because it's um, aluminium, quite soft metal, you can see um, there's a bit of damage at the top where a saw has cut into the aluminium. So I've got this metal putty that I'm going to attempt to um, use to sort of fix it up. And this stuff you just um, knead it in your, between your fingers and then apply it. So once it had time to dry and harden, I then sanded it back. Then I just gave the rest of the metal a light sanding to give it a key for the paint. So for the paint, I'm going to use some uh, Rust-Oleum water-based silver. And I used water-based mainly because it dries much quicker. And I didn't want to use oil-based because it just takes too long to dry. And this way I could add several coats quite quickly. So then I added some red paint to the lettering. So now I wanted to add a layer of lacquer to protect the paintwork and again I have some uh, Rust-Oleum lacquer which is also water based again just for speed. So now I needed to make some jaws for the voice. I'm offering up the voice here to some scrap pieces of pine. And using a speed square, I'm just marking the areas that I need to remove. This voice, um, it can be used horizontally and vertically, so I'm gonna make some L-shaped jaws. I started off by making cuts with the mitre saw. And then for the L-shape, I used a pull saw once I'd cut the first one I offered it up to the second one and made the marks Now I could reassemble the voice. Here I'm just adding a little pin that stops the uh, that main part from falling out. So to secure the jaws, I've clamped them into the voice 
and then using a hammer I'm just making some adjustments to make sure they're exactly where I want them then I could drill some small pilot holes for the screws And for these jaws, I've made them a bit bigger than the vice. That will just give me more surface area to work with. So once the jaws were attached, I could then go ahead and give them all a light sanding down and round over the edges. This would prevent any splintering later on when the vice is in use and I finished it off with a hand sanding then for the finish I used some boiled linseed oil and that will just help to uh, give the wood a little bit of added protection could then buff off any excess oil with a cloth and I also sprayed everything with oil to make sure that it runs nice and smoothly so that was the voice all finished And this will be great to move around, use outside on my portable workbench and also take inside my workshop too. Quite a useful voice for clamping things horizontally and also vertically. So that's about it for this video. I was pretty pleased with how it turned out in the end, considering how it was when I started. Um, it's not a perfect restoration by any means, but it's good enough for me. So if you found this video useful, please remember to like and also consider subscribing for more DIY related videos. And as always, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.